Hi students, today we are going to discuss the class 12th topics that is mathematics, third topic matrices. So before studying this, I will explain or I will discuss how many weightage of the marks. So how many marks questions will become in your annual examination from this topic. So in matrices, so here it is one mark one question, three mark one question and five mark one question. So totally how many nine mark weightage for this topic. So we will discuss today the matrices. So your third topic as I told. So the topic is matrices. So this is your third chapter. So total the weightage for this topic is 1 mark 1 question, 3 mark 1 question and 5 mark 1 question. So total how much it here it is? 9 marks. So for this topic we have 9 marks here it is. That is 5 mark 1 question, 3 marks 1 question and 1 mark 1 question. 5 plus 3 plus 8 plus 1 is 9 marks weightage for this topic we have. So today we will discuss what is meant by matrices and order of the matrix that we are going to discuss. Before studying the definition of the matrices, first I will tell, so why should we study or what is the meaning of the matrices or where we should use the matrices. For that, that reason, I will consider one information purpose. So I will take, one you can call it as example. Suppose if we have information that is Ram has three books and seven pens and Sham has Sham has four books four books eight pens and John has John has ten books and 11 pens. So this is just information we have. That is, uh, I will take it like it took here this three members or three students we took care of this and they have the things like pens, books. So how many they have that I given in the in the form of the example we took care of this. This is some information we have. So instead of reading all this information, instead of writing in a sentences, in short, can I write like this? That is, First, I will write here it is the name of the students. Here it is Ram and here next we take here it is this is Sham and next here it is John. So here it is and first I will write this information in a particular order within the bracket I am writing this information. So here it is first I will write here it is um, books and next I will write pens. Within the bracket, I am just whatever we have the information in the form of sentences that I am writing within the bracket to understand easily. So, Ram has how many here this? Three books and seven pens. And Sham has here this four books and eight pens. And John has ten books and eleven pens. So, whatever we have the in the sentence form, whatever information we have, that information I am writing within the bracket I am writing. So, by writing this, see here this, you only you can observe here this, instead of reading all this, Ram has 3 books, 7 and 7 pens and Sham has 4 books, 8 pens and John has 10 books and 11 pens, it will be like you may confuse. But instead of reading or instead of observing all this, directly you can see here it is that I wrote the same information I wrote within the bracket and short, easy to understand. So here we by observing this easily you can here it is understand. So Ram has three books and Ram has seven pens. Sham has four books and Sham has eight pens and John has ten books and John has eleven pens. So like this the given information easily we can understand and we are writing within the bracket in some arrangements I did here this. So the arrangements whatever I did so this we can call it as the matrices. So writing of this we can call it as the matrices. And another one example I take here is so for example if I have the some numbers I will take some numbers you can take any numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. I took these 4 numbers. So these 4 numbers see here it is I can write within the bracket I can write like this 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can write like this the given numbers I can did the I can do the arrangement like this 
or I can do the arrangement like this 1, 2, 3, 4 or also I can write the given information write like this also 1, 2, 3, 4 I can write like this and here it is so the given numbers I am writing within the bracket in a particular order I am writing so this also we can call it as the this we can call it as a writing of this the given numbers either like this order or like this or like this we are writing so this also we can call it as the matrices and you can take some functions also you can take for example I will take here this sin x cos x tan x or you can take it as sec x you can take any trigonometric any functions you can take but here it is i taken the four trigonometric functions these are all the trigonometric functions sin x cos x tan x sec x so this also i can write like this can i write like this sin x cos x first two terms first write and remaining we'll write here this tan x sec x so writing this also we can call it as the this arrangement whatever we have the some trigonometric functions that trigonometric functions i wrote in a some particular arrangement order in a particular order or some arrangement i did here it is and here i have the numbers the numbers also i can write like this again here it is i can write like this like this i did the arrangement and whatever the information we have that also we did the arrangement like this so whatever I did here this, this all we can call it as the matrices. So matrices here this, what is mean by matrices means, so here it is, it is an rectangular arrangement of numbers or functions. So the definition we will discuss later, but why, why and how should we use the matrices or what is matrices to understand the definition, I gave you some examples here this. So here the whatever numbers we have, the numbers from these numbers, I am writing some in a particular order I am writing or else within the bracket I am writing some arrangement I did here this. And here also some functions we have here this, these functions I write in the some particular order I wrote here this, some arrangement I did here this. So, so let, let us define, let me define the definition here this. So the definition is so first we will discuss what is mean by matrix. So matrix here it is. We will define matrix here it is. A matrix, a matrix is an, is an ordered, is an ordered rectangular, is an ordered rectangular array of, array of numbers or functions. So, a matrix is an ordered rectangular array of numbers or functions. So, here it is. <coughs> Already we took here it is examples. Either it may be numbers or it may be the trigonometric any functions. But here it is I took here it is trigonometric functions. So, please observe here it is. A matrix is an ordered rectangular array of numbers or functions so array is nothing but it is nothing but the arrangement here it is arrangement so uh, next here it is we will consider some example here it is so and please remember matrix is nothing but here it is definition we discussed so matrix is the singular form and matrices is the plural form of the matrix so please note here it is matrix is the singular form and matrix matrices is the plural form i write some examples here it is so whatever we wrote we, we can take this only 1 2 3 4 so this is the example for the matrix because it is an arrangement here it is some order here it is an ordered rectangular arrangement of numbers or functions here it is and now here it is please remember a matrix is always denoted by the capital letter so it may be a b c x y z whatever but here it is you should consider here it is the matrix is denoted by the capital letters here it may be a b c d whatever may be so this is also one example for the matrix and another one i'll take here it is x is equals to you can take the same example i am writing here it is so sin x cos x you can take and tan x and sec x so these are all the examples for the matrix so now i'll defend again i'll repeat the things so a matrix is an ordered rectangular array of numbers or functions is called as matrix and matrix is the 
singular form if there is and singular form means ekavachana if only one matrix is there then we can call it as the matrix only one arrangement is there means rectangular arrangement is there means we should write it as we should call it as the matrix if more than one matrix are there then the, in that case we should use as the matrices so and matrix always will denote here it is by the any capital letter we can define here this any capital letter we can use to denote the matrix so now next we'll discuss so i'll come to next what is why we should using what is rectangular you may get confused here this a matrix is an order means simply we have some order we are writing particular order but you may get confused what is the meaning of this rectangular you may have some confused that i'll discuss that we'll discuss later so after this example i'll come to that and next here is array is nothing but arrangement some arrangement we are doing so that we can call it as the arrangement of numbers or functions and next here it is we we can understand what is mean by first we'll discuss what is the and all we know that what is horizontal line and what is vertical line so please remember in a matrix the vertical here it is vertical means like this this is vertical line so if we have like this this we can call it as the vertical line we can call it as or this is vertical position and if we have like this this we can call it as the horizontal so this is horizontal and this is vertical here this so please remember in the matrix the vertical line constitute to the columns the vertical lines whatever in the place of vertical lines how many vertical lines are there that we can call it as the columns of the matrix so therefore here it is in the any given matrix the vertical line constitute this vertical lines we can call it as the columns this vertical line constitute the columns and the horizontal means like this the horizontal line means like this the horizontal line in the matrix we can call it as the rows so please remember students in a matrix the vertical lines what are vertical line constitute the columns and the horizontal line constitute the rows and the columns we can call in kannada we can call it as the kamba salu we can call so in the in in the kannada we can call columns as the kamba salu and rows we can call it as the adda salu we can call so in middle i'll use uh, some kannada also because most of the videos or most of the cases who oh, all we have the videos as per i seen almost they are use full english or they are using the hindi but for the kannada medium students or to understand the kannada medium students if they don't know the hindi means it's it, it is not easy to understand so that purpose in middle i am using kannada also here this so please remember the vertical line constitute in a matrix the vertical line constitute the columns and the horizontal line constitute the rows here this please to remember this is very useful for further we are going to use what is rows and what is columns we need it so there therefore so this and here this next come to this example in this particular examples in the matrix a here this so how many columns are there there are two columns are there what is mean by column as i told columns is nothing but the whatever we have in how many we should to understand the column we should know how many how many vertical lines are there so this is the one vertical line and this is the another one vertical line so therefore in this matrix two columns are there and how many if i ask how many rows are there this is the one here it is one horizontal line and this is another one horizontal line is there so therefore this vertical line constitute the this uh, sorry uh, horizontal line so this is the one horizontal line and this is another one horizontal line this horizontal line constitute the rows so in this particular matrix how many horizontal lines are there or horizontal you can call or how many rows are there so to understanding purpose i am telling that or how many horizontal and vertical lines but further after these words we are going to use rows and for the horizontal i am going to use the rows and for the vertical i am going to use the columns so in this particular example how many columns are there one two two columns are there how many rows are there one two so two rows are there and similarly come to this example another one example in this case also how many columns are there one two here you can observe here this so this is 
one two two columns are there and how many rows are there one two two rows are there and this is if after understanding this columns and rows next we will understand for any given matrix whether the matrix is for any before that so sorry first we will consider examples if i have the any arrangements if i have the any arrangement to that given arrangement whether that is matrix or not how to conclude or else what is the meaning of rectangular array so that we are going to discuss in this particular examples so for any given arrangement for, to conclude whether the given arrangement is matrix or not we should check or there there is a one condition is there so what is that condition means so now i'll explain so each row must have the so the condition is each row each row must have equal equal number of elements so each rows must have equal number of elements and each columns must have each columns must have equal number of equal number of elements so please remember students any given arrangement to say or to conclude whether the given arrangement is matrix or not we should always they should always satisfy this condition if they satisfy this condition then you can easily say or easily conclude that yes the given arrangement is matrix so i took i'll take here one example here this a is equal to so if someone asked or if i wanted to decide whether this arrangement is matrix or not to understand to conclude that we should check whether these two conditions satisfying or not that we should satisfy so what is that each row so first i, I first i will discuss how many rows are there so in the in this particular example here this whatever i have the same example i took so how many rows are there this is the one row and this is the another one row two rows are there so and also here it is how many columns are there so here it is two columns are there so one row first row second row two rows are there one column and this is second column two columns are there so what i told here it is so any given arrangement to conclude whether it is matrix or not it to say here it is we should say this should satisfy these two conditions i repeat any given matrix sorry any given arrangement is said to be matrix if this satisfies these two conditions so i'll check here it is so this example so here it is one two two rows are there first row i'll consider the first row in the first row how many elements are there one two two here it is in the first row two elements are there next come to the second second row here it is this is the second row in the second row how many elements are there again here it is two elements are there it means that this condition is satisfying each row must have equal number of elements the first row has the two elements and the second row has the two elements it means that each row ha must have the equal number of elements first row also have the two elements second row also have the two elements this condition satisfies next come to this condition and next we should check in the column so in this the in the first column how many elements are there one two two elements are there and in the second column how many elements are there two elements are there so therefore each rows have the you must have the here it is this is the condition each row have the equal number of elements and also each column have the equal number of elements therefore the this is given arrangement is a matrix yes and next come to the another one arrangement i will consider here it is b is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 so if i consider whether this is matrix or not so easily you can tell here it is this is not a matrix the given arrangement is not a matrix because each what is the condition it is for any given arrangement we should first see here it is whether every row each rows in the given arrangement have equal numbers or not we should check 
So it is in the first row only you can see here it is in the first row. How first of all we will discuss how many rows are there. This is the first row. This is the second row. We know here it is in the first row we have the two elements. In the second row we have the three elements. It means that they are not satisfying this condition. Each row must have the equal number of elements. But in this first row we have the two elements. In the second row we have the three elements. So therefore this arrangement is not a matrix. So like this we should check. So for any given arrangement whether that is matrix or not. So we should discuss here this. We should discuss here this whether this is matrix or not. By using that condition we can hear this. By using these conditions we can conclude whether the given matrix is whether the given matrix sorry given arrangement is matrix or not. We should discuss here this. Clear? And you can take here this another one example. If you want you can take here this one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is also not a matrix. The given arrangement is not a matrix because each row here this. Each row. First row has two elements. Second row has two elements. But the third row has three elements. So therefore that is not a matrix. So it is nothing but whatever the we have this condition. This is nothing but the this will satisfy the rectangular array. So it is nothing but whatever conditions we have. The condition is nothing but the if these two conditions satisfies then that will be obviously that will be the rectangular array only. So the structure will be like this rectangular only. So therefore the definition is a matrix is an recta ordered rectangular array of numbers or functions. So that is nothing but rectangular means if these two conditions satisfies then obviously that will be in the rectangular only. Here and here you can observe here this. This is not in the form of rectangular. So generally we can see here this rectangular means like this but here it is this is not a rectangle here it is the only here it is one two two first row we have the two elements second row we have the two elements but here it is three elements so it is not a rectangular arrangement so normally everyone will discuss so normally everyone will tell that simply they will tell that a matrix is an order rectangle array of numbers or functions we, we read in the textbook also the same but somewhere we have we no, don't know what is why we are using the rectangular arrangement. So rectangular arrangement is nothing but this condition that should be satisfied. Therefore, we are using in the definition rectangular arrangement of numbers or functions we can use. So this is the meaning of the rectangular array. Array is nothing but the arrangement. So now we will discuss and also please remember we know we should know what is rows and columns. Yes. After this, we are going to discuss what is the order of the matrix. So this is the just the concept to understand the matrix and this is the definition of the matrix and this is what is the these are the examples and the and also we know what is mean by rows and what is mean by columns and also we know why we are calling here this rectangular array. So what is rectangular array to understand that we should need this information. Therefore I explained all this. I hope there is no any, any doubts here this. So please I explain once in Canada I will repeat the things whatever we discussed here this. So matrices. So matrices is nothing but in Canada we can call it as the matrices we can call matrix and now we can call matrix and matrices and now we can call matrices and now we can call So yaak now matrices and use matrices and discuss matrices and now we can call matrices Solve information and then solve examples and then we can call So yaak examples and then we can call yaak matrices and then matrices and yaak use matrices and now we can call 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 yaak use matrices So first time for first time the example and then information and then we can call ये नो राम हैज राम नत्र है नहीं थे थ्री बुक्स है सेवेन पेंसिल दावा अमेरिक शाम नत्र है नो फोर बुक्स है एट पेंसिल दावा जॉन नत्र पुणे में है नहीं थे टेन बुक्स है मतलब लेवेन पेंसिल दावा थे जस्ट इलों इनफॉरमेशन तो होने ना दे सो ये इनफॉरमेशन है ना नहीं हो ये लाओ वो दी दागे ने में ராமஷாம जॉनी नेक्स्ट अम्मे लाओ ना तो ये ने तो ये ने नम इनफॉरमेशन का तो बुक सेस्टर लावा मतलब पेन सेस्टर लावा तो ना इनफॉरमेशन ना नम कोटिल का सो आधे में ये मार्टेन आरंथ है लेकिन 
ಇದನ್ನ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರಿತಾನೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ತರ ಹೆಸರುಗಳನ್ನ ಬರಿತಾನೆ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬರಿತಾನೆ ಸೊ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ರಾಮ್ ಹತ್ರ ಎಷ್ಟು ದಾವ ತ್ರೀ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ತಾನೆ ಓಕೆ ತ್ರೀ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ರಾಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎರಡ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎರಡ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇದೆಲ್ಲಾ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಾನು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡೀನಿ ಇನ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಬರಿತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬರೆಯೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಯಾವುದೇ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬರೆಯೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬರೆಯೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಸಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇರಬಹುದು ಸೊ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಯಾವ್ದು ಇದೆ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂಗ್ ಬರಿಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬರಿಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಈ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಬರಿಬಹುದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಇರಬಹುದು ಬರೀ ನಾವು ಏನು ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಏನು ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೋಬಹುದು ಸೊ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಮೂಲಕ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡೀನಿ ಟ್ರಿಗ್ನೋಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಸೊ ಯಾವ ಟ್ರಿಗ್ನೋಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸೆಕ್ಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕೊಡೋದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾನು ಒಂದ್ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಟ್ರಿಗ್ನೋಮೆಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟು ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ನೋಡಿದೆ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ಇನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರ ಯಾವುದೇ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇರಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ನಾವು ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಬರೆಯೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಬರೆಯೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಏನು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಏಕವಚನ ಒಂದೇ ಇದ್ದೆ ಒಂದೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಡೆ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಒಂದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಸಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಸಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಬಹುವಚನ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಏಕವಚನ ಆಗಿರ್ತೇವೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಡ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಅರೇ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಯಾವುದು ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇರಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಎನಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬರೆಯೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಸೊ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿತ್ತು ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತೈತಿ ಅರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಮಗೆ ಏನ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಜನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗಲ್ಲೇ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಯಾಕೆ ನಾವು ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಮುಂಚೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೋಗ್ತೀನಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇದು ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐತಿ ಇದು ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐತಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಒಂದು ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಒಂದು ಡೆಫಿನೇಟ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾನು ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಬರ್ದೇನೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೇನೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ 
ಇಷ್ಟಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗಲ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತೇನೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗಲ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗಲ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಆಗಿರ್ತೈತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರ ಈ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸರಿಸುವ ಏನಾಗ್ತೈತಿ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗಲ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತೈತಿ ಸೊ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗಲ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನಪ್ಪಾ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರ ಅಂದ್ರ ಆ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಯಾವಾಗ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಈಚ್ ರೋ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ಒಂದು ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರ ಆ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರ್ಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಾವೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಎಷ್ಟು ರೋಸ್ ಅದಾವ ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎರಡು ರೋಸ್ ಅದಾವ ಸೊ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಮೊದಲನೇ ರೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅದಾವ ಎರಡು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅದಾವ ಎರಡನೇ ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅದಾವ ಸೊ ಇದು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸರಿಸ್ಫೈ ಪ್ರತಿ ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ವಿಕೆಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ನಾವು ಅದು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರೋಸ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಸೊ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಈ ಕಾಲಮ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಈ ಕಾಲಮ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅದಾವ ಎರಡು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅದಾವ ಎರಡನೇ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅದಾವ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಎರಡು ಅದಾವ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ರೋ ದಲ್ಲೂ ಈಚ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎರಡು ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅದಾವ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಈ ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಕಾಲಮ್ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅದಾವ ಎರಡು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅದಾವ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇದು ಈ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿಬಹುದು ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಈ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೋರಿ ಸೊ ಈ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅದಾವ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂರ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅದಾವ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗ್ಲ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದು ಆಗಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ರೆಕ್ಟಾಂಗ್ಲ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಚ್ ರೋಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಚ್ ರೋಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೊದಲನೇ ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡೇ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದಾವ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರೋಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರೋ ದಲ್ಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ದಿಸ್ ಅಲೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಶು ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಚ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಈಚ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದೇ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇರಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಅವು ಅವೇನ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅವುಗಳು ಎಲ್ಲ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಎಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನಿ ಹೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನಿ ಎಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಹೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್